I'm Crystal, and I live with my husband Alex and our cat Riley. Despite living with lupus, I try to enjoy life to its fullest. So come share in life's big and little moments with me. In my shoes. Good morning, guys. It's seven in the morning and I'm just gonna quickly get dressed. I've already had breakfast and everything and I gotta get going to my doctor's appointment. I had made this appointment when I was working and so I had made it like super early in the morning so that I could still make it to work in the afternoon. But of course I'm not working now, so I'm still stuck with this early appointment, which I really did not like. I had to get up at like six o'clock in the morning my appointment's at 8.15 to get an echocardiogram, and then I have to um, go see my cardiologist. <laughs> and I heard, I'm not, sh not sure, but I might have to actually wait around for a few hours because I might have to wait on the results of the echocardiogram. So I'm just hoping it won't be too long because I have a lot of stuff that I got to get done today. And I thought I would just bring you along and do a little vlog because after my doctor's appointment, I am going to go to the bank and transfer my money into U.S. money so that I have all the money I need for my to bring on my trip. And... Um, I don't think that I have anything else to do outside, but when I get home, I'm going to start gathering everything together to pack, and so I can kind of show you what I'm doing throughout the day. So come along. Okay, we are home. Let's see if Riley will be greeting me. <laughs> okay. Usually he's right running down the hall to greet me. He must be sleeping somewhere in a deep sleep. Let's go find him. Let's go find him. Let's go find Riley. Okay, let's see. Oh, who do we have in here? Hi, baby. You sleeping on daddy's pillow again? You always pick daddy's side of the bed. Huh? Yeah, you always pick daddy's side of the bed. I'm home. Did you know that? I'm home. Ha huh? how come you didn't come to the door? Lazy, lazy cat. Are you a lazy boy? Huh? Hmm. Yeah, you always sleep on daddy's pillow. Huh? Yes. Oh, big stretch. Oh, big stretch. <sighs> big stretch. Yes. Look, you probably have hair all over daddy's pillow. Huh? We'll have to clean that for him. Right? Yeah. So on my way home, I grabbed a Slurpee and it dribbled all over my hoodie. My nice clean hoodie that I'm going to use when I go to the doll show. So I have to wash it. And I guess I'll have to like, I don't know, like I just did laundry last night. So I really have nothing else to throw in the wash except for this. So it's kind of like a waste of a load, but I need to get it clean. Either that or I'll just like, maybe I should just wash it by hand and hang it up to dry. But look at the mess. Ah. Uh. Yeah, so I'm home. It is 11.30, so I think I was finished there around 10. And then I went and looked around in the gift shop a little bit and got a couple of gifts for some friends that I'll be meeting at the show. Um, so <laughs> it was a weird appointment. Um, it was not what I was expecting and not in a good way. Um... So the Holter this time showed an increase in extra heartbeats. Um, 
The last time I had a Holter, like six months ago, it showed only like 2,000 something extra heartbeats. This time it was like over 10,000 extra heartbeats. Now, I didn't think to mention to them that the last Holter I had, the one that I had six months ago, that was the one where like I woke up one morning and found that like I think one or two of the Holter leads had fallen off during the night and I have no idea how long they were off. So, and I kept trying to tape them back on and they kept falling off during the day and I would tape it back on and then it would fall off. So I have to wonder if the Holter monitor I had six months ago that said I had so little you know, like they said, I only had like 2% worth of extra heartbeats and this time it was 7%. I'm wondering if that 2% one was accurate because that seems like a pretty big increase from like 2,000 extra heartbeats to over 10,000 in six months. I have to wonder if the, the Holter I had six months ago did not pick up all the extra heartbeats because of the leads falling off in the middle of the night that I was completely unaware of. Um, so I didn't think to mention that to them. I got thinking about it after I left because it just seems so significant. So, um, however, with me having this extra shortness of breath, they're kind of wondering if they're connected. Um, so they want me to really try to work on losing some of the weight that I've gained from the prednisone, even though I'm still on the prednisone. Um, I mean, hopefully we'll be tapering the prednisone soon anyway, but they want me to try to lose more weight um, just to see if that helps with my breathing at all. And then of course I'm seeing my respirologist, so we'll see what he says about it. But um, so basically they're not gonna be trying to decrease any of my heart medications at this time. I'm just going to stay on them as is. And they're going to see me back in six months. And to my surprise, um, they didn't say anything about me having to do a Holter before my next appointment or an echocardiogram. So I'm kind of happy about that because I, I don't like wearing Holters. So if they don't want to do one, great. Um, but they want to see me in six months and just kind of check in to see how I'm doing in terms of the breathing, if my weight's gone down, things like that. They just want to see basically how I'm feeling, like if there's been an improvement in that. Um, because basically what he thinks with the increase in the heartbeats, he's thinking that the extra heartbeats are coming from the left side of the heart. And when they did my ablation, they did the right side of the heart and they just couldn't do the left side of the heart because it's just too much to do all at once. Um, and so he was saying like, if things like are kind of like not improving or whatever, um, then they would like to try, he would like to try doing the left side of my heart, doing an ablation on the left side of my heart. Um, but that, that would be the last attempt. Um, you know, like if it, if it doesn't work, that's it. Like we won't try doing any more ablations. Three times is kind of like his max. Like that would be my third time having an ablation. And if it is, isn't successful the third time, like then they would just say, forget it. And they'll just basically keep on monitoring me and I would probably stay on the heart medication. So we'll see what happens with that. I really don't want to have ablation done again. It's just not a fun thing, but I mean, if it can help, I guess I'll go through it one more, one last time. At least I know it would be the last time, but yeah, so that was kind of, I don't know. It's, it was a weird appointment. I wasn't expecting to see such an increase in my extra heartbeats because I really haven't been feeling my extra heartbeats here and there um, if I'm walking fast or running or whatever, but other like I really don't feel them that often. So it was a surprise. It was a not so nice surprise. But anyways, hopefully we'll get it all figured out and everything. So anyways, I'm home now. 
I'm hungry. I'm probably going to get some lunch. I'm going to wash this up. And I'm going to start gathering my stuff to pack. I also changed my money over to American Money. So that was exciting. It feels more real now. Like the more you get done, like it's like, okay, I've got all, all my, like, well, once I wash this hoodie, I've got all my washing done. I've got the actual American money. And it's like, there's like three, four days until I fly out. So he, I'm so excited. So yeah, um, we'll check in later. I also would just like to say that my cat, Mr. Riley over here, Mr. Riley here, you shed way too much lately because daddy just vacuumed on the weekend and then a couple of days later I vacuumed again. But look at this, look at this. I don't know if you guys can see this. Look, Riley hair, Riley hair, Riley hair, and over there, Riley hair. Over here, Riley hair. And where else? We got fluff, probably from Alex's socks. And we got more Riley hair, Riley hair. It's everywhere. I need to vacuum for the third time this week. What's going on? <laughs> What's going on, Riley? What is going on? Huh? What is it? Okay. I thought my camera was fixed. Why is it telling me the battery is dying when I just had charged it like the other day and just started using it now can you answer that did they not fix my camera this is not good I've, I'm finding that the batteries are still going quick so I don't know if they properly fixed my camera because the whole issue with with this camera was that it would flash and say that the battery is dying when it's really not so I don't know now it's flashing and I literally just charged this battery like a day or two ago and just put it in my camera to use now like this morning so what's with that hmm <sighs> well I'm glad basically I have four batteries now <clears throat> two of them are older batteries that don't really last all that long because I think I've charged them so much that I actually depleted them because I kept thinking they were dying when they probably weren't and I kept charging them. So yeah. So anyways, at least I have four batteries and I'll just have to make sure that they're all like really charged up for the show so that I don't run out. But at least that's the good thing about staying in the hotel where the doll show is. Um, you can go up to your room anytime you need to. So if I need to go and charge a battery and get a new one and come back down, I can do that. Right, Riley? Isn't that cool? What? What do you see? <gasps> what? What is it? <gasps> what do you see? What? Oh my gosh. What? <laughs> what? You're darting your head all over the place. What is it? What is it, boy? What is it? What is it, Lassie? <laughs> <laughs> Say, he's not a dog. Say, I'm not a dog. Right? <laughs> what are you looking at? Probably your hair floating around. Because you shed too much. Why? Oh, wait. I just saw it now. It's a fruit fly. You see a fruit fly? I saw it. That's probably what you're looking at, right? Right? Look at that beautiful, handsome face. Major close up. Whoa. Mommy's having a Wayne's World moment. 
because I watched Wayne's World on Netflix the other day. God, I love that movie. <laughs> Party on, Riley! So, I just have to say, I love the way he looks at me sometimes. Right, Riley? Riley? What are you doing? Huh? Look at the look at those eyes. What's up? Huh? Is it lunchtime? I think you were just eating. But me, I'm I haven't had anything to eat since breakfast. So it's time for me to manja manja. Huh? Nope. Oh. Hmm? What is it? Please don't cough up a hairball. No. No, no. Please. Okay, it's just a yawn. You were just working up to a yawn? I get it. Okay, because sometimes when you lick your lips and then kind of do a little, like a jolt with your stomach like that, it's like you're getting ready to cough up a hairball and that's totally disgusting. You good? Did you have a good morning? Hmm? Did you just sleep the morning away while I was at while I was at the doctor? Huh? Yeah? Tell me more. Tell me more of your story. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. And then what else? So what else happened while I was gone? Hmm? What else? Tell me. No? That's it? Nothing more exciting happened? No? I know why you're sitting there. <clears throat> Do you know why he's sitting there, everybody? Because up in that cupboard, in that cupboard is the special T word. T-R-E-A-T-S. You're looking at me. Please tell me you can't spell. Do you know what T-R-E-A-T-S spells? Are you kidding me? Do you know what it spells? Okay, let's try it again. T-R-E-A-T-S. What is that? All right, I think I'm gonna have to cave and show you guys his reaction to the word treats. <gasps> treats? <coughs> treats? Where are they? Go get them. Come on, over here. Up here. Let's go get them. Treats. You want it? Okay. These are his favorites, right? All right, let's get them. Your treats, go find them. Mommy hid them this time. I know we haven't done it in a while. No, they're not there. Over here, look, Riley, Riley. Find your treats over here, please. Hey, Riley, Riley, treats, go, go find them. There you go. Okay, go find more. Find more. Other side. You see it. Over there. Treat. No. How did you miss that one? Just make sure you pick up the crumbs, please, because we've had ant situations going on. <laughs> oh, well, I'll probably just vacuum anyway. Okay, get that one there. There you go. Good boy. Mm -hmm. Riley, did you fart? Nasty boy. <laughs> okay, Riley, get it.
Okay, go find more treats. Go find more. You already checked there. You gotta go over there. You gotta go over there. Over there. This way. Go find more. Riley, look. Riley over here. Hey, oh, where are you looking? No, mommy never puts them there. I know it's been a while since I've hid them. <laughs> over here, Riley. <whistles> treats. Riley, treats. Riley. <laughs> Usually he knows exactly where I hide them, but it's been a while since we've done that. Okay, come on over here. Look. Over here. Look. There you go. I hope I'm not boring you guys with this. It's turning into a Riley vlog. <laughs> okay, get one more. One more. Get it. Yeah. Okay. Now, we can come over here. Oh, look, I left the door open. Whoops. <clears throat> well, I left the main door open. Okay, Riley, come. Riley. Riley. Come, let's get more treats. Okay, up, up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're just, <laughs> he's distracted because, <laughs> because I have all the treats here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mommy never does that. I never put them all down like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you couldn't do your trick because you were distracted by the big pile of treats. You were like, oh my god, I want them all. <laughs> I'm sorry. Look, hey, hey buddy, Riley, Riley treat. Riley treat, look. Woohoo. Here, look. Okay, now, when you eat that, you need to pick up the crumbs because we're going to get ants. Okay, can you, can you pick up, can, can you pick up this one, please, right here, this one here, please, right here. Oh, okay, we're going to try and get you to do your trick, okay? Hey, Mr. Mr. Riley. I can't do it one-handed. Okay. Are you finished? Anticipation. <laughs> okay. Okay, come on. Now. I want you to do your tricks. Here, come. Come get it. Come get the treat. Now sit. Can you sit? Good boy. Okay. Let's try this one now. Okay. Can you go up? Can you go up? Good boy. Okay. Come on. Now sit. Sit. Good boy. Okay, now go up. <laughs> he sees them. <laughs> he sees them over there. Okay, Riley, here. Here, here, here. Now, come up. Riley, up. Up. <laughs> I think you're getting done, eh? You finished? Look. I know you're looking at these. But here, look. I have a treat right here. Can you go... Can you do up one more time, Riley? <laughs> it's like, no. Are you finished? Okay, I think you're done. Is it too much? Or do you just want, do you want to just like attack a pile of them? 
like that. <laughs> We've never done that before. Okay, I think that's enough of that. Oh, open the window, sweep out the cobwebs, open your eyes to what is going on all around. Anyone know what musical that's from? <laughs> Tell me. Sorry, I am in a really hyper mood today, guys, because I am so excited. <laughs> hey guys, so it's after dinner now, and I just had a shower, and all afternoon I was working on getting together all the stuff for the babies, um, Savannah's stuff and Pixie's stuff, and I'm almost finished getting all of that together. I think I just have to, I have to seal up two bottles and, um, what else do I, I have to get some blankets out and then I think I have just about everything. So, um, once I get it all together, I'm going to show you guys what I am bringing in a separate video, but, um, yeah, so I'll finish that up and then I have to, um, start getting my stuff together so I've just found it really funny that it seems like everyone in the reborn community has packed for their babies before packing for themselves <laughs> I've just found that really funny that like some people have had like their babies like wardrobes packed and ready like weeks ago <laughs> it's just funny that we care more about like what they wear versus what we wear <laughs> so that's kind of funny but um yeah that's pretty much it Riley's over there sleeping and yeah so I think that's it for this video um there's really not much else going on I'm just like I said I've got everything um laid out I've just got it like all on top of the dresser in the office and so yeah I picked up I picked out outfits um bracelets to match the outfits pacifiers to match the outfits hair bows to match the outfits and like shoes and booties and scratch mitts and all kinds of stuff I'll show you guys but yeah I, I um I'm excited because I in bringing a combination of things that I got from the two box swaps I did as well as a couple of things from um, my haul at Carter's that I did like a couple months back so yeah I'll be able to like see these outfits on them and stuff and Pixie of course like I've had stuff stashed away for her for like ever um, it's kind of funny, um, you'll see in the video, like, when I do it, uh, I actually found some bracelets that I bought at last year's show, um, that I never used yet, so they actually match some of the outfits that I have now, that, like, they match them really well, so, um, I'm kind of bringing that, I'm also, one of the bottles that I'm sealing is a bottle that I bought at last year's show <laughs> so I'm finally gonna use that and then um, I think like one or two of the outfits I'm bringing for Pixie I bought um, last year at Walmart when I was at the show so um, but yeah like I gave the kit the Pixie kit to Kate at last year's show so she's been in the works for over a year now because last year the show was in June this time it's in July so it's been over a year that I've waited for her so I'm so excited but yeah I don't know I'm still trying to figure out names for her but I guess I'll just wait until I see her and maybe like get some ideas from ladies at the show so yeah that's about it I'm going to sign off on this video now and just enjoy the rest of my evening and tomorrow morning I'm going to be Skyping with Yvonne. So I'm looking forward to that. And I guess that's about it. 
All right, guys, see you in the next video. Bye. A fan blowing like into the head, and I'll show you guys what that looks like. So I actually have the dehumidifier going now, and I also have the fan on full blast blowing into the head. So the last time I checked, it looked like it was almost dry. So I'm hoping that it will it will be dry shortly so that I can finally put her together and show you guys the finished product. Um, I've given her a magnetic pacifier and a magnetic bow.